Go to create a sketch, select the front plane, select the line, make a line here with 110 millimeters of distance. Okay. Select the constraints, mid midpoint, click on the line and the midpoint here. Okay. Go to create, select the arc, center point arc. Click here in this point, in the midpoint here. The radius here is 90 millimeters. Make a, an arc here. Okay, the radius 90 millimeters. Go to constraint, select horizontal vertical. Click on this point and this point here. Select a line, make a line here between these two points. Okay, go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines here is 120 degrees. Press OK. Go to modify, select the fillet, make a fillet here with 10 millimeters and another one here in this side. Press OK. Constraints, horizontal vertical, and this point, this point here. OK. Now go to create, select the arc, center point arc, click, select the line type construction, click here in the midpoint, make an arc here. Okay, select the circle, remove the construction line type, here 90 millimeters, make a circle here with 9 millimeters, and here with 9 millimeters, okay. Okay. Now go to create, select arc, center point arc. Click here in the midpoint, make an arc here with 41 millimeters. Sorry, 41 millimeters. Okay. And create another one here with 29 millimeters. And create another arc here with 34 millimeters of radius, okay? But this is just a part of the arc, okay? Let me change the dimension here, okay? You have this. Now select the line, construction line. Make a line between this point and this point, and this point and this point here. Make a center line here. Okay. We have this. Okay. Now go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines here is 9.25 degrees. Okay. Now select the line. Click here in this point. Make a line here, but it is not a construction line now, okay? Okay, go to sketch dimension. The angle between this line here and the midpoint here is 7.5 degrees. Okay. Now go to mirror, select this line here. The mirror line is this construction line here, press OK. We have this. My sketch is not fully constrained, so let me see. Constrain horizontal vertical in this point here in the midpoint. Okay. We have this, okay. Now go to create and select the circular pattern. Select this line here, this line, and this line here. The center point, click on this circle. The distribution, partial, the angle here, 90 degrees, the quantity is 5, and press OK. Now go to create, select the mirror, select this profile, this line is here, OK. This line, don't, don't need this line. The mirror line is this center point here. 
this construction line thread OK. We have this. Now go to modify selected trim. Cut this inside part here. OK. Okay, we have this. Now finish the sketch. We have this. Go to extrude. Select this profile here. Extrude to this side. Uh, 10 millimeters. Operation mm -hmm. new body. Press OK. Show the sketch one. Go to extrude. Select this profile here. Only this profile. Extrude to this side minus 30 millimeters. Operation join, press OK. We can hide this. We have this, OK. Now go to create sketch, select uh, this face here. Select a two point rectangle. Click here and this add here. The distance here is 110 millimeters by 24 millimeters. Okay, finish the sketch, go to extrude, select this profile here and this profile here, extrude this, uh, 22 millimeters to this side here, operation join, press OK. We have this, OK. Now go to create, select the hole. The hole type is contour body, select this face here. Move this point to the center of this, sorry, hole, this face here, to the center of this face here, a hole here. The extend is all. The geometer here is 11 millimeters. The distance here is 8 millimeters, and this diameter is 6 millimeters of geometer. Press OK. You can create another one or you can just select mirror. Object type, select the features, the object, select the hole here. And the mirror plane, select the right plane here. Press OK. We have this, OK. Now go to create sketch and select this face here, OK. okay. First, select a line, construction line, click here in the midpoint and in the center of this circle, okay. Make another line here with 82 millimeters of distance, okay. The angle between these two lines here is 90.25 by 2. Okay, now go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here in this point, this point here, make an arc here, it is not a construction line type. Okay, and create another one here. Um, okay, go to sketch dimension, the radius here is 50 millimeters. Now go to create, select uh, Project include, project, select this face here, okay, look this, press OK, select the line, construction line, make a line between the, the center point and this point here of the arc, you can move this, go to sketch dimension, the distance between this point here, and this line here is 5.9 millimeters. Okay. Now select a line. It is not a construction line. Click here in this point. Make a line here between this point. And make a line between this two point here. Okay. Here in this line, go to constraints, select uh, collinear. 
click on this line here and this construction line okay go to fillet make a fillet here with 80 millimeters and create another fillet in the other head here okay with eight millimeters eight millimeters here and eight millimeters here press okay here is blue here let me see what is happening Oh, it's moving here. So go to constraints, collinear. Click on this line here and this line here. Okay. Now go to modify. No, go to create. Select mirror. Select this sketch here. Okay. The mirror line is this construction line here. Press okay. We have this sketch. Finish the sketch. We have this. Go to extract. Select this profile here. And make a cut here. Distance all. Operation cut. And press OK. We have this. And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And bye bye.